judges preaching the gospel in public Reaching the masses, jumping, Bible is all that we touching Esau be lynching, had us in slavery, gotta get vengeance All these cools they be simping, making no difference We taking shots, got him pimping Look at these pastors leading the jakes, they ain't never been valid Talking about Catholic, on the corner I step out the capsule Sakara, we act up, pray to the Lord cause it's about to get tragic When in Orlando, I ball like the magic Urban Gorilla, Javanchi, the fabric Trust in Yahweh, it's so everlasting all praises. All right, is everybody ready? Khan? Khan? I heard, repeat after me again, Baba Kusha. Khan, La. La. Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba'ashim. Yahweh Shai. That's all praises to the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. We are the prophets of the Lord coming in week in and week out to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native and Seminole Indians, your true nationality, heritage, and ethnicity, which is being a Hebrew Israelite according to biblical prophecy, archaeology, and history. That's right. Also, to prophesy the downfall and destruction of this wicked place you know as America, also called Mystery Babylon in the Scriptures, uh, Colossians 3 and 17. We're going to start there again. Colossians 3 and 17, whoever has it first. Sir. I got it. Okay, he needs to come out the book. There's, <laughs> he's a little chilly setting right there. Fine. Go ahead. Um, this is Colossians 3 and 17. Bring it out. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, uh -huh. do all in the name of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, uh -huh. giving thanks to God and the Father by him. Right, so everything we do in word and deed is to give glorification to that, uh, Matthew 5 and 16. It's to give glorification, right, to give thanks, to give honor to our Heavenly Father, man, right? That is what our job is, is to glorify him. Right. right? People should see the way you live and actually be able to identify, oh, those are followers of Yahweh Shai. Those are followers of Jesus, right? Go ahead. Come this is the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 16. Bring it out. Let your light so shine before men uh -huh. that they may see your good works. They may see what? That they may see your good works. That they may see your good works, right? Not that they may see the faith that's on the inside of you and that you profess, right? What's going on, uh, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing this evening? Y'all visiting Atlanta or y'all from Atlanta? I see, who's that, B-more on your shit? East side. All right, all praises. Just so you know, blacks and Hispanics are the Israelites. Repent and keep God's commandments, man. All right, all praises. Where are my faithful Christians at in the building, man? Where are my faithful Christians at? Can I get a hand raised? Yes, no, maybe so? Don't be ashamed of Jesus Christ. Oh, praise. Shout out to this lady right here. All right. We want to make sure you know blacks and Hispanics, you are the Israelites. You are God's chosen people. Repent and keep God's commandments, man. All right. Go ahead. Read it again. Uh, uh, Matthew 5 and 16. Bring it out. Let your light so shine before men uh -huh. that they may see your good work. Read. And glorify your Father. And do what? And glorify your Father. Read. Which is in heaven. Uh-huh. Verse 17. Oh, uh, keep going. No, keep going. Come. Verse 17. Think not that I've come to destroy the law. Right. The one of the first things Jesus Christ said in the greatest sermon, right, is do not think I came to destroy the law. Out of everything you hear me say, I don't want this thought to even enter your head. Right? He made that so evidently clear and still people today will tell him, no, you're wrong. You did come to change the law. Right? You did come to do away with it. Now, because you were able to keep it, I don't have to keep it. Because of your righteousness, now I'm good. I'm set. I just got to believe that you were able to do it. Right? But that's literally against what he told you he wanted you to think. Right? He wanted you to see, uh, uh, hear, and, or think good and pure thoughts, man. All right? Shout out to this brother and these sisters, right? How y'all doing this evening? All praises. Yeah, clap it up for the family, man. Right? We want to make sure you know that blacks and Hispanics, you're all the Israelites, all right? You need to repent. You need to keep God's commandments, man. All right? And if, uh, you know, you spend that $1,000, you know, get a refund. You know, call the bank and be like, oh, that wasn't me. You know, I was in Detroit or something. You know, read it again, verse 16. Come, Matthew 5 and 16. Bring it out. Let your light so shine before men uh -huh. that they may see your good works. That they what? That they may see your good works. That they may see your good works, right? That is the light that shines to the Gentiles, right? The law, the righteousness, right? The things that you do. You have. I saw you have James, all right? Con. Go ahead. Con, this is James 2, and I'll do 14. Uh -huh. What does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he has faith uh -huh. and have not works? Uh -huh. Can faith save him? Uh -huh. Right now, verse 17. Even so, faith, if it hath not works, uh -huh. is dead it being alone. Is what? Is dead being alone. Is dead being alone. Shout out to all the brothers and sisters over there across the street. Uh, we want to make sure you know blacks and Hispanics, you are the Israelites, you are God's chosen people. All right? Repent and keep God's commandments, man. Right? 
When you when you read, Paul say this is the book of James. Da, da, da. Con, con. So that they, you know what I'm saying? Con. All right, read it again. John. This is the book of James, chapter 2, verse 14. Bring it out. What does it profit, my brethren? Uh -huh. Though a man say he hath faith uh -huh. and have not works. And has what? And have, have not, not works. works. And has not works. What are you profiting from? You're not doing anything, right? Shout out to all these brothers and sisters right here. How y'all doing this evening? Yeah, who's visiting Atlanta? Raise your hand. Who's visiting Atlanta for Chris Breezy? All right. Shout out to all visitors, right? We want to make sure you know blacks and Hispanics. You are the Israelites. You are God's chosen people. All right. It's high time you repent and you keep God's commandments. All right. Uh, praise read it again. Con, what? James, this is the book of James, chapter 2, verse 14. Bring it out! What does it profit, my brethren, uh -huh. though a man say he had... What's going on, sis? You saw the sign with Jesus Christ? Do you have any questions about that? Yes, no, maybe so? All right, go ahead, slot. Con, what does it profit, my brethren, though a man say he had faith uh -huh. and have not works? Read. Can faith save him? Can what? Can, Can faith, faith save, save him? him? Can faith save him, man? This is a question that the brother of Jesus Christ was asking. Can you just simply have faith, right? And how, uh, hold that, let's get Sirach 15 and 15 again, right? How do we prove that our faith is acceptable to the Lord? We have to demonstrate it to him. We have to prove it to him, right? And other people need to be able to see that faith by those works you do, man, right? You need to be able to set yourself apart from the way you talk, from the way you dress, from the way you act, right? That's what being holy or kodaj set apart, that's what that means, man, all right? You set yourself apart from the normalities of the world, right? Go ahead. Uh, this is Sirach 15, the book of Sirach, chapter 15, verse 15. Bring it out. If thou wilt to keep the commandments uh -huh. and to perform acceptable faithfulness. And to what? And to perform acceptable faithfulness. That's how you perform acceptable uh, faithfulness, uh, sisters, right? All oh, praise to the most high. Where y'all from over there with the umbrella? Ma'am, pink shirt, green shirt? How y'all doing? Y'all all right? Y'all going to see Chris Breezy? All right, shout out Chris Breezy, you know what I'm saying? All right, make sure you know blacks and Hispanics are the Israelites. Repent and keep God's commandments, man. Read it again, read it again. No, Sirach 15. Con. This is the book <clears throat> of 15, verse 15. If thou wilt to keep the commandments and to perform acceptable faithfulness. Uh-huh. He had set fire and water before thee. He has set fire and water before thee, man. Right? Just absolute destruction is before you. And life and death. There's life and death in every little situation, in every little decision that's made. You understand? And the way that we can avoid those things, give me that in, uh, again in Proverbs 29 and 18, the vision, right? Matthew 5 and yes, uh, verse 16 again. Salaki, unless I, unless I ask you to move, please don't. Okay. Matthew 5 and 18. No! For barely I say unto you, Till heaven and earth pass, uh -huh. one jot or one tittle. One what? One jot or one tittle. Read. Showing no wise pass from the law. Uh huh. Till all be fulfilled. Till what? Till all be fulfilled. Till all be fulfilled, man. Give me, uh, let me get Daniel 7, right? Where the Lord gives Yahweh Shai the kingdoms, etc. You understand? We need Yahweh Shai, or who you call Jesus, to return and take these kings under his rulership. Take these kingdoms under his rulership, man, until all be fulfilled. Ah. Right? We need the Zadokites to be appointed as the priests of the Lord. We need a new temple. Right? Not just a spiritual one. We need the physical temple to perform the offerings that God requires of us, man. You understand? Just like back in Egypt, God said that my people need to come and serve me. They, they have an offering that I require of them, and they can't do it here. They need to come serve me somewhere else. Right? He heard our cries in Egypt. Right? We need to cry aloud, not just to rebuke people, but to literally have our God come take us out of this place. Right? In the book of Baruch, it says that he hears the dead Israelites, man. Right? And in the Revelation, our prayers are what is offered to him in the heavenly realm. Right? If we're not praying enough, we're not crying enough, why is he going to want to? Uh, apparently, we don't need him. Right? That's how he going to look at it. And we do need our God. We do need Yahweh. Right? He's the only reason we're going to get out of America. Right? So Matthew 5 is, oh no, uh, Daniel 7 slot. Okay. This Daniel 7 and 18. Bring it out. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom. Shall what? The saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and uh -huh. possess the kingdom uh -huh. forever and even forever and ever. 
I was asking for where how was shot got the uh the kingdom from the most high when he came on the clouds off. Oh okay. It's all right. Um what you got? Proverbs. Yeah, Proverbs 29:18. Uh, this is the book of Proverbs 29 verse 18. Yeah. Where there is no vision. Where there's what? Where there is no vision. Read. The people perish. The what? The people perish. Life and death, man. All right? Even in the way that you see things, the way your perspective can cause you to die. Right? The way that you uh, envision the future, the past, etc., that is where you're going to determine your path. Right? You need to be put on the pathway of life. Right? And going back to the works, being the light, the laws of light or a lamp unto our feet. That's how we're able to see where we're going. Without these things, we're going to end up walking into a ditch, walking into, uh, into a lion, walking into a bear, walking into a scorpion, walking into all types of death. Right? Because we just can't see it. We need to be able to see it so that we know it's possible to receive it. Right? Right, sisters? Can you receive the blessing of God? You have two minutes? Let me talk to you for two minutes, ma'am. You don't want to be late. Chris Breezy ain't even on the stage yet. That's yes, okay. Is that your God, Chris Breezy? Right. No? All right, well, sisters, we want to make sure you know blacks and Hispanics are the Israelites, God's chosen people. All right, repent and keep God's commandments, man. Right. All right? Listen, man. Go ahead, read it again. Uh, Proverbs 29 and 18. Bring it out. Where there is no vision, the people perish. The what? The people perish. The people perish, man. I don't know about y'all, but I'm done dying, man. Right? We die in Christ. The body of sin is put to death. We live unto God in newness of life. Right? We change who we, who we are. We change the way we think. We change the way we dress. Right? And it's all to get out of America, man. Right? It's also that, guess what? We don't have to worry about, oh, I got to go back to work. Don't nobody want to go back to work. Right? I know I don't at least. Right? Some people might love their job. You know? I don't love my job. Okay, read it again. Con, where there is no vision, uh -huh. the people perish. Where there is no vision. What are you holding again? Uh, oh, yeah, the, uh, the day you found it? Go ahead. Con, this is Daniel 7 and 13. Bring it out. I saw in the night vision, uh -huh. and behold, one like unto the Son of Man came with clouds of heaven, uh -huh. and came unto the ancient of days. Read. And they brought him near before him. Uh -huh. Verse 14. And there was given unto him dominion uh -huh. and glory uh -huh. and the kingdom that all people, nations, and languages mm -hmm. should serve him. Shall what? Shall serve him. Right? And everybody on earth is, in fact, not serving Jesus Christ right now. So all has not been fulfilled. Therefore, the law is still in play. Right? That light, right? Everybody wants to talk about the Israelites. Oh, you guys are supposed to be the light to the Gentiles. Well, you keep telling us not to keep the law. All right. So we can't be a light unto the people you love because you don't want us to be. Right? How y'all sisters doing? Y'all visiting Atlanta? Yes, no, where y'all from? Louisiana. Shout out to Louisiana. All right, just want to let you know blacks and Hispanics are the Israelites. Repent and keep God's commandments, man. All right, all praises, man. All praises. Shout out to this brother. Set him down here, man. Let me holler at him right quick, man. Set him down here. What's going on, bro? You about to sell some drinks or whatnot? All right. How you doing, brother? You believe in God? Yeah, you got two seconds, bro? No? You're working? Us too. All praises, man. All right. Just want to let you know blacks and Hispanics are the Israelites. Keep God's commandments, man. All right. Uh, go back to Matthew 5 and 16. You want to finish this or not? Go ahead. Con. Right. So where there is no vision, uh -huh. the people perish. But he that keepeth the law. But what? But he that keepeth the law. Read. Happy is he. Happy is what? Happy is he. Happy is he. Right. What's going on, brother, with the ATR hat? All right, this is brother blinging out here. Give him a round of applause, man. All praises. <laughs> Let me holler at you two minutes, bro. Two minutes, right? You're from Atlanta, right? Where are you from, brother? South Carolina. South, South Carolina. Where's South Carolina at, man? Oh, North Carolina. Excuse me, brother. All right, all praise to the most high. So, what's your name? Stephen. Stephen, pleasure to meet you. You're the second Stephen I met this evening. What about you, brother? Joshua. Josh, shout out to Joshua, man. All praises, man. You know, there's a guy in the Bible named Joshua, right? Right? And he's from the tribe of Ephraim. He's a great guy. Are you a great guy? Oh, praise to the most high. So what are we teaching, right? According to the Bible, right? So-called blacks, Hispanics, Native, and Seminole Indians, we are God's chosen people, the Hebrew Israelites. Right. You understand? You familiar with the Hebrew Israelites in the Bible? No? You know about Moses, though. You know about uh, Jesus Christ, right? Those are Hebrew Israelites. Those are your cousins. Those are your brothers. You understand? 
Did you know that? You did know that? You sure? Okay, well, all praise to the Most High. Do you know what made those brothers so great? They obeyed God. They did what God told them to do. Right? So now, Stephen and Joshua, as we identify as being from the 12 tribes of Israel, God gave us a job. Right? Gave a, God gave us a responsibility, not only to him, not only to our king, to our nation, and even to the rest of the world, says the prophecy. You understand? Who has Deuteronomy 7 and 6? Go ahead. Uh, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. Bring it out. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Uh -huh. Above all people. What? Above all people Read. that are upon the face of the earth. So notice the status that our God put us on. What's his brother's name? Joel. Joel. Shout out to Joel in the building, right? All praises uh -huh. to the most high. Right? So if we identify, right? Did you hear that, brother Joel? Did you hear that scripture? A little bit. Well, let's make sure we hear, you can hear the whole thing. Let's read it again from uh, Brother Joel. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and 6. Bring it out. For thou art in holy people unto the Lord thy God. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee uh -huh. to be a special people unto himself. Read. Above all people. What? Above oh, all people. people read. That are upon the face of the earth. That are upon the face of the earth. So Joel, Stephen, and Joshua, God said, our nation... Right? Compared to everybody else, I don't care who you can think of, everybody else on this earth is literally below us. I don't care who you put in number two, three, four, five, we're number one. You understand? So with that status, with that level of responsibility, right, we have to be able to demonstrate our greatness, right? Because number one got to act like number one. You understand? The greatest basketball player ain't going to have no rings. Right? Ain't gonna have no trophies. They're gonna have accolades to demonstrate that greatness, right? Deuteronomy 10 and 12. All right. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? So, Joshua, Stephen, and Joel, you identify, right? So called blacks and Hispanics, we're the Israelites. There's a question that's asked What is our responsibility? Not everybody knows. Right, verse 13. God, verse 13, to keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To, to keep, keep the commandments, commandments of, of the Lord. Lord. That's all it is. Now, sometimes, like, for example, in the Christian churches, they say things like, oh, you can't. In the Christian church, they'll tell you, oh, you can't go to concerts. That's ridiculous. You understand? There's nothing wrong with listening to loud music by an artist that you think is talented. You understand? As long as when you go to this concert, you have something known as tassels or fringes on your shirt, right? Your, your, your clothes are 100% whatever fabric that is, you understand? As long as it's not breaking the Sabbath, you understand? As long as you're not consuming pork in this place, you got your beard, you're not sh Y'all get what I'm saying? That's, you can have fun and still obey God, right? Some people may not know Jesus Christ, right? When he got uh, with the disciple Matthew, they went and held a, uh, held a house party. Right? You understand? So do you have any questions real quick or no? No, you sure? Did y'all, this your first time hearing this information? How would you guys identify religiously? Christian, Christian what about you? Did you have a question, sir? No? What'd you just take a picture of? Something that you're interested in, right? Okay, well, all praises. Make sure you know blacks and Hispanics are the Israelites keep God's commandments, man. Right? Joe, where, where you going, brother? You, you got somewhere to be? Yeah. Yeah, where you got to be? I got to, we have a banquet yeah. going on. A what? A banquet. A banquet? Okay, I'll praise to the most high, man. Make sure you're looking at the information. All right, keep God's commandments, all right? So, uh, Brother Stephen, you identify as Christian as well, right? In the Christian church, <clears throat> have you ever been told that you got to keep God's commandments? Yes. yes? What are the commandments you, they tell you you have to keep? The Ten Commandments, right? When was the last time you see a Christian church tell their people when and where and what to do on the Sabbath day. That's one of the Ten Commandments though, brother. The Sabbath day. Why don't they do that? You see what I'm saying? You feel me? Then, they have something in the Ten Commandments is honor thy father and thy mother, right? They'll keep something known as uh, uh, Mother's Day and Father's Day, right? Does that mean I only honor my parents one day of the year? No. How would I even properly honor my parents? Because they're, I've seen kids in the Christian church, they tell their parents, no. That's ridiculous. Right. No? No what? This your son? 
<laughs> you asked him, have you ever told me no? Yeah. Salak, I didn't mean to get you in trouble, brother. <laughs> no, that's good, right? That's real honor, that's real love. So how are we then gonna turn around and tell our, tell our Heavenly Father no? You understand? So you mentioned the Ten Commandments. Are you familiar with the fact that there's more than that? There's, a, there's about 600 plus commandments, you understand? Do you think it's difficult to keep those things? Why? Name one commandment that is absolutely impossible for you to keep. Impossible. I ain't killed nobody yet. Amen. <laughs> right? So that, you, that means you can do it, right? You see what I'm saying? You, who got Philippians? Me. Go ahead. This is Philippians. 4 and 13. Read. I can do all things through Christ, which strengthens me. You, you strengthen up by Christ, right? Amen. So therefore, guess what? Stephen and Joshua, we in fact can keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. It's so very possible, right, that if Jesus Christ can do it, he said, so can we. Right? Jesus Christ told his disciples, you will go on to do better than me, actually. Right? That involves more than just keeping the commandments. You understand? How do you feel about that? Straightforward, right? Right? Okay, I'll praise So what about you, uh, Pops? How do you feel about that? He said it so we can do it. I'll pray. Give his brother a round of applause, man. So now, moving forward, are we going to keep God's commandments? Best. Do your best. Okay, listen, that, that's all that we can ask, because at the end of the day, that's going to be between you and the Most High. Right? We done did our job, right? We done warned you, right? Because at the end of the day, if you're still sinning when Jesus Christ returns, what is going to happen? Huh? You'll perish. You'll perish. Amen. Get his brother a round of applause. Man. All right? That's all it is, man. All right, so we want to make sure that it's clear, right? Like things like eating pork, we can't do that no more. You agree? Things like he, uh, celebrating Easter, we can't do that no more. You agree? That's very doable, right? And I'm not telling you that there's nothing else you can celebrate. For example, instead of Easter, celebrate Passover. It's better anyways. Right. Technically, Passover and unleavened bread, they last eight days. Easter is just one. That's whack. I can get off work for eight days, not just one. You understand? You said what? I said I wish. You wish? Brother, listen. Anything is possible with God. Right. You're looking at somebody that, in, in my office, I take off half of the days that everybody else is working. You see what I'm saying? And a little uh, co-workers that I have, they talk shit about it. Oh, you, you never at work. Duh. I don't want to be here. Right? But I'm serving my God. You understand? So we do anything that we possibly can to serve him in happiness and joy, right? right? Y'all said you have precepts? Gone. Go ahead. This is the book of James, chapter 1, verse 22. Bring it out. But be ye doers of the word. Do what? But be ye doers of the word uh -huh. and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Dece we can't be deceiving our own selves anymore, man. We're taking those scales off our eyes, man. You understand? We're getting that vision that Jesus Christ, you think Jesus Christ is just physically healing people? Those healings are also spiritual. Giving people vision to see was not just a physical thing. Giving them the ability to understand prophecies, giving them the ability to hear, the ability to walk, right? In the Bible, Israel is called the Valley of Dry Bones. We're dead. He was bringing us back to life. Right. You see what I'm saying? Physically, spiritually, and even mentally. You understand? You said you had something? Kind of the book of First Peter, chapter two and verse twenty-one. Bring it out. For even here unto where we call, because Christ also suffered for us, uh -huh. leaving us an example. Leaving us what? Leaving us an example. Read that ye should follow his steps. So that he what? That ye should follow his steps. Right. So if we're gonna call ourselves Christians, that means we have to be Christ-like and live the same way he did. Right. Uh, praise the. I have any more questions? No? I will listen, we appreciate y'all stopping. We love y'all. Hope you have a great evening. All right. And don't forget, we're the Israelites, God's people. We gotta keep God's commandments, all right? All praise to the most high, man. How y'all ladies doing with the Red Sox? What's up?
All right, where are my visitors of ATL at? Raise your hand. Where y'all from? Y'all visiting? Of course she's visiting. Praise the Lord. All right, we love you, sis. Blacks and Hispanics, y'all the Israelites, repent and keep God's commandments. All right. Matthew 5 and 16. Go ahead. Come, Matthew 5 and 16. Let, let your light so shine before men uh -huh. that they may see your good works uh -huh. and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Glorify your Father which is in heaven, man. We out here to make him happy. Right? We out here to do what he has instructed us to do. Give me uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. You got something? Uh, Con. Go ahead. Con, this is 2 Ezra 9 and 7. Bring it out! It says, and everyone that shall be saved, uh -huh. it shall be able to escape by his works and by faith. And by his what? By his works and by faith. Read. Whereby ye have believed. Where, where, where are my uh, followers of Jesus Christ right here? How y'all doing? Anybody believe in Jesus Christ? Yes, no, maybe so? All right, yes, you, you're not saying it loud and proud. You believe in Jesus Christ? All right, you got two minutes to talk about your Lord and Savior? Two minutes. Two minutes to talk about your Lord and Savior. Oh, uh, see, when you deny him before man, he's going to deny you to the Father. Hey. <laughs> oh, praise. Hey. I didn't deny him. I would never you didn't? deny him. No. So by walking away, you were that I was a denial? Now you're here. Okay, then I didn't want to argue with you. It's all right. If you feel convicted, that's on you. Don't come here to defend yourself to me. That's between you and God. As a lover of Jesus Christ, I turned around because that was the impression that you gave me that you were. Right, there. okay. That's why I turned around. Okay, yes. we could have had a real conversation instead of you trying to be defensive. You ready? I just have a quick question. What's your question? What's your ethnic background? What's my ethnic background? Yes, ma'am. I'm Greek. You're Greek. Okay, so to the Jew and to the Greek, right? <laughs> real quick, real quick, real quick. You're a Christian. Should I love Jesus Christ? You love Jesus. How do you love Jesus Christ? How do you demonstrate that love? By the way I treat others. By the way you treat others. Okay, so really quick. Did God, did Jesus Christ tell us how to love others? Yes or no? We should treat people as we would want to be treated as ourselves. Okay. So we should be kind Understandable. Of okay, are, are you answering the question that I'm asking or no? He did tell us how to And what was that? What did he tell us to do? To love those as we would love ourselves. Okay. Did he tell us to keep God's commandments? Of course. Are you keeping God's commandments? Every day. Every day? You sure? You're not breaking that one? Are you a sinner? We all are. Hold on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't. See? Now you're walking off again. Oh, that's not what the Bible says. <laughs> how are you a sinner and a Christian at the same time? That's crazy.